it's Farmer Dan, the wannabe Texas gardener. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Farmer Dan with Wannabe Texas Farmer. Today we're mixing up some raised bed mix to put in our newly built raised bed garden. Uh, what you're going to see here today is we have three cubic feet of a uh, mushroom compost, some clay, uh, cow manure, topsoil. So it's called bed mix at the local landscape uh, company that we got it from. We're going to be mixing in approximately two cubic feet of vermiculite, about one and a half or two cubic feet of peat moss, two cubic feet of the Happy Frog soil conditioner, uh, about one and a half cubic feet or one bag of the Fox Farm potting soil, about one cubic feet of chicken manure and one or two cubic feet of cotton burr compost. So what we're just gonna do is we've got our, our mushroom compost mix spread out on a big blue tarp. And we're gonna just layer each one of the amendments and then we're gonna mix it all together and shovel it over into the raised bed. Uh, that should give us a good growing medium for the plants that we're gonna plant this year. Uh, and hopefully we'll have some success. This is the first year I've ever done raised beds. Uh, and if you've got any interest in knowing the background behind all this, you can watch our intro video and we'll put a link down in the description. Now. So I hope you find it helpful. Uh, and I hope that you get something out of this that you can use in your own raised bed garden, or at least give you some incentives to start your own raised bed gardens as well. So you can watch the rest of the video and see me do a lot of work. Thanks a lot. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed watching all the uh, labor to get all this mixed together. Now when you take a look at it, you're going to say, man, it's not completely mixed all the way. And you're right. And I'm not real worried about that because when I'm going to shovel it over into the raised bed, it's going to mix some more. And then once I get it into the raised bed, um, I'll mix it with the existing soil that's in there. So it's really going to get about three different um, mixes all together. So we're going to go ahead and start shoveling over in there and then whenever we're done we're going to talk about what each one of these things consists of and why I decided to use those. So enjoy some more labor action. All right, so we got all the mix, all the bed mix put in the in the raised beds. I haven't flattened it out yet or got it uh, smoothed out or anything, but it is all the way in there. The only thing I'll do now um, is I've got a half a bag of vermiculite left, so I'm going to spread that evenly throughout. I've got one more bag of Happy Farm and another bag of uh, Ocean Forest potting soil. I'm going to spread that throughout too. Two big things of uh, peat moss and the two bags of vermiculite I'm going to return because uh, I really don't need them and the place that I got them at is really good about letting you return stuff unopened as long as they can be resold so I'm going to take those back um, but as far as our raised beds go we have a, a u-shaped bed approximately four foot wide by 12 foot deep 12 foot long in the back 
Uh, it's got two little front four foot by four foot sections. Uh, I just did that so that I could have some crossbars for some stability to keep the boards from bowing out. You also see some upright posts. Um, we're going to be growing indeterminate tomatoes this year. And so I'm going to put uh, cattle panels across the top so that I can string up the tomatoes uh, and the bell peppers instead of using steaks. So we're going to see how that works out. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever done raised beds, so it's kind of a just let's see what we can figure out and see how it works. And if it doesn't work out, then we'll try something again next year. Uh, the goal is to have four of these beds over the next three years. One where this one is at, one opposite direction uh, in front of it, and then two uh, next to it. Um, behind each bed, we've got some Celeste fig trees that I purchased this year. Um, I purchased them as three to four foot trees from a place called Womack uh, Farms or Womack Gardens. Um, they're local here in Texas. Um, and I'll put a link down in the description of their place as well. Um, we also purchased some blackberry root starts from them that we have planted on the other side of the fence. Uh, there's nothing to show with those. They haven't popped up out of the ground yet. Uh, we are going to trellis those. But I'll, um, th those were also from Womack Farms, so you can see everything that they have to offer down whenever you visit their website. Uh, but that's where we're starting at right now. As far as ingredients and all this stuff, I mean, obviously vermiculite is just plain vermiculite. Peat moss is peat moss. Chicken manure is chicken manure. Uh, cotton burr mulch um, is is just mulch made out of uh, the cotton plant after the cotton's been picked and it's been mulched up. The other two items that have the farm soil uh, amendment and the forest potting soil. Those have a lot of extra stuff in it. So if you ever read about raised bed garden soil, you're going to hear things like uh, males mix and you'll hear a 30, uh, one-third, 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 one -third, where it's one-third vermiculite, one-third peat moss, one-third compost and manure. Um, and, and from what I understand, those things are great. And if you ask me what the percentages or the, what ratios that I use, I'm going to be straight up with you. I have no idea. And the reason why is because like the happy frog, it's already got peat moss mixed into it. It's got bat guano in it. Um, it has a lot of extra stuff into those things. The same way with the ocean forest potting soil, it also has some, some small amounts of fertilizer in it and root growth stimulators. Um, but it is considered all natural. So, you know, if you want to be the, uh, uh, what's the term? natural and uh, organic growing these are considered organic from what I understand um, I, I'm not an organic grower although most of the stuff that I have is organic based the other thing that I'm going to be adding to the beds is a, uh, a fertilizer called trifecta plus so if you're really interested in gardening and you want a good YouTube channel to watch other than hopefully this one um, I suggest you go out and check out Luke over at MI Gardener. Um, he has been doing this for a very long time. Um, he owns a seed shop up in Michigan and he has developed his own organic uh, fertilizer that apparently is working wonders. Um, and so I got hooked onto it. Uh, I've been, I purchased a, a 15 pound bag from him. It's not the cheapest stuff. Um, but from what I understand it, it's really good slow release granulated uh, fertilizer that's supposed to really help with root growth and uh, plant growth and just and, and fruit growth um, I don't really know what's all in it I just you know I guess you could say I jumped on the bandwagon and bought some and we're gonna try it out so we'll see how that works out but this is my raised bed garden we're gonna see how it does this year I will be bringing you along with the, the planting of the plants and how they grow, uh, what kind of production yields we get out of it. You know, I'll teach you, hopefully teach you some stuff along the way and I really hope you guys are able to teach me stuff. So if there's something that you see and you want to discuss it, put it down in the comments of the video. Uh, we'll check those and respond back to them as, you, as much as we can. Again, if you want to get some background on 
on me and why I started doing this um, and, and you know what I do as a full-time job and, and why this is you know, something I, I just decided to toy with uh, we'll go watch our uh, intro video again it'll be a link down posted down in the comment section just kind of give you an idea of what's going on around our place and uh, why we decided to do this what future uh, projects we're hoping to get into and and just the, the overall feel of our little one acre place here in Carlos, Texas. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave us comments, subscribe, share it with your friends and, and all that YouTube jargon out there. Uh, so until next time, this is Farmer Dan, the, the, uh, the Texas wannabe farmer signing off. All right, so I forgot one last thing here. Uh, we have everything mixed in. I'm not going to water it in right now. We're expected to get about an inch and a half, two inches of rain over the next few days. So I'm gonna let Mother Nature take its course. If it needs to be watered in after that, we'll add some more water to it. We are gonna be doing drip irrigation with this as well. Uh, so we'll take you along for that as well. But uh, just, you know, hope you keep coming along with this and I hope the videos are, are good for you and you learn something. So again, thanks a lot. I'll talk to you later.